Hello people and how's it all going with you guys? My bike is uh, due to have it. It's MOT. I've had this bike for two years. Um, I'm, I'm taking it to have its MOT uh, about two weeks ahead because the, the, the date that the MOT is on I will be working so I won't be able to take it then. But um, I'm taking it to be MOT'd um, and let's see what happens with it. Um, it's going all the way to, um, it's, it's, near, it's near Trafford. It's called um, Valve Automotive. Um, I found out about them because I rang up BMW Motorrad on Chester Road in Manchester where I bought, where I got my bike. Well, I didn't get my bike from there where I go to take my bike to get anything happen to it and they said, um, so tell, how long is it going to be? I said, I said, oh, if you take it to a Valve Automotive where we take them to, you can be about half an hour rather than having to wait for an hour or two like that. So a lot quicker. And so I rang up, said, can I book it in for, I think I rang up on Monday, so can I book it in on Friday? They were like, yeah, let's do it. So I went down, bu booked it in, and yeah, I'm going to get it done now, so wish me luck.
Yes, I am back from the um, the ride to and from. Um, it's not much of a ride because um, I went down the motorway and thought, you know what, it's a bit boring going down the motorway all the time, especially with all speed cameras. You can't really spread its legs. You can't really do much. It was pretty much so. I went and thought, you know, I'll go down all the streets. Same thing. It was too busy, so I couldn't really do much there. A bit boring of a um, of a ride, but I got the bike back. Um, sat there 20 minutes later paid for it it was 29 pounds 60 something i think they said it was which is not bad really considering it's a you know bmw most thing most bmw stuff costs um the guy who owns the place has has i think he said he's had eight or nine bikes of his own it's like it's crazy and he's he's getting another one as well i'm thinking bloody hell it's hard enough tracking a bike and a car for mlt in our service imagine nine bloody hell but there you go and, um, well, the verdict was as, as, is um, it passed with one advisory, um, basically. It's not a massive advisory. Um, it's the advisory that my rear brakes are getting low. They're not bad, but they're getting low. I said, well, I only do about one to 2,000 miles a year, give or take. Well, that'll do. I said, well, yeah, you'll be fine with that. Get it done before the next MLT and you'll be fine. But yeah, I would change them. Um, I'm going to see if I can change them myself and maybe do a video of how to change them because I go to BMW and it costs a fortune and basically my bike is out of warranty um, on the 21st anyway so whatever I do to the bike it's not going to damage the warranty at all so that's good so I can get my own brakes fit, fit them somehow I'll have to YouTube it see how to do it and then possibly do it um, maybe in the summer or the spring next year I think because they're fine at the minute um, but yeah, the, it was these brakes. Um, just thought, just uh, those brakes there. Thankfully, it's just two brakes because on the front it's um, they have double brakes because they have a disc on each side. Um, as you can see, they have a disc on each. The wheels on the front. So imagine if it was if it was disc brakes on both, that would be awful having to do that one. But it might be actually easy to be honest. But anyway, it's that one. Um, as you can see my bike absolutely love this bike i was thinking about replacing it but for the cost i get i can get nine grand for this bike give or take with the panniers on it uh, and i found some i've seen some in milburn bmw motor rate rad in uh, manchester for about the same price mine but the only thing is is they don't have they don't come with these and the most important thing for me i find is they don't have any of these engine bars they don't have those with these with the ones I've seen. There's two, there's a black and there's two reds, same amount, about the same mileage, it's about nine grand. But they don't have those things, and I want those things. So, you know, I'll have no warranty on this bike anymore soon. Um, but it is a, a great bike, regular serviced. Um, it's passes MLT. Maybe I might go, might keep it and go on a European tour with my mate uh, on his GSA. Um, but yeah, there's my. Um, my absolutely awesome bike best i'd say the best bike i've ever had because i've had um, a, C, a honda cbf 600 i think it was a 600 anyway um i've had a bmw f800r a bmw f800 gs and now i've got this bmw r 1200 gs it is a top bike for the like i said the best bike i've ever had you know it's um it's great for off-road, on-road, going through walls and everything. You can look at my other videos, um, see my off-roading, my off-roading stuff, and also my um, uh, my filtering. Just how much fun it is to be on this. If you go, if you want, if you want to get any bike for BMW, I won't get the R90. It's a bit. It's like a, a pedal bike with a with a massive boxer engine. Not really my scene. F800R. It's good if you just want to do road journeys or S1000 or if you want to do road journeys. If you want to have an all around bike that's just good for everything, because it has different modes you can change your bike, your bike to, go for the R1200GS or GSA. Or if you want a bit more power, the R1250GS, they're quite good. I, I, might, get, I might get one eventually. But yeah, there's my bike. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. So it did pass its MLT, so that's amazing. And uh, let's go on the open road and go for it. Bye-bye. <laughs>